and welcome back to another Disney Dreamlight Valley video. I wanted to make a cute and cozy holiday sweater using some of the new motifs that are found in the star path. So if you guys want to follow along and make it with me, I would be super happy and let's get started. So when we are in the Touch of Magic tool, I figure the first thing we can do is make a cozy sweater. So let's go with the basic jersey and we will hit create, go into our new motifs and just check out some of the really cool seasonal ones. If you've unlocked the new holiday ones, they're pretty cheap. They only cost 10 of the festive points, but you can also filter by Frozen. And there's some really cool decorative ones in here as well that you can use. So to get started, let's use the fun sweater ones. And we will use these little Christmas tree motifs to start. I'm going to zoom in so we can get a little bit of a better view. And you can use this tool to tile them across the whole thing. Obviously, it does stretch out a little bit. I'm not going to worry about the pattern being all the way across because we're going to cover up parts of this as well. So I do want the Christmas trees along the bottom and I don't mind them being up here as well. And let's change the color of the sweater. Let's go with like a nice dark green. So now that we have the white Christmas trees all along the bottom, that looks pretty good. I'm going to use this as a guide, these lines right here and the cufflinks to figure out where we can set some new shapes. So I'm just going to grab this shape. So we're going to cover some of this part of the shirt here. So what I can do is kind of set it to one side a little bit more like that. That looks pretty good. We're going to do the same thing, add another shape, rotate the shape a little bit. But what we really want to do is make sure it's aligned with the actual shape of the shirt. So just kind of filling in where we need to go. And we can actually grab onto this one. So this will be able to be mirrored so we can mirror it across to the other side. That looks pretty good. We just have to fill in the back side as well. So I'm going to rotate this to fit the sleeve right here. Mirror it to the other side. Add another square. Make it a bit bigger and just fill it in. It's a little curved in the back, so maybe instead of the square, what we can do, we can still leave the square up top, but we're going to grab a circle instead. Just It might have enough curve if we make it big enough to kind of fill in without ruining too much. And then we'll go ahead and grab the square and just use it to fill in any of the other spaces like that. There's a couple of spots left, so let's just grab another half circle and fit it right along this edge here, and then we'll mirror it as well. So that should cover the top half of this shirt and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I think what might be really fun to just try and see is if we can make this a dark red all around. It's going to take a little bit to switch them all, but I think we can have some really cute colorations uh, with the other patterns on top of it. And you can make these whatever color you want, but I think the red will be really nice. So what's really nice about changing the color to red is we can actually see that we missed a little bit of a spot right here and we just have to click through and find where about here it is, right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually use that half circle like we did on the other side, since that one seemed to work a little bit better. We'll make it larger and just drop it down. And then when we go and grab that square again, it can kind of fill in for those other sides here. So you'll see that there's a lot of lines and little stuff like that, but we'll be able to cover a lot of that up when we start adding more pieces of it. So let's go into our nature section and use this little snowflake. And we're gonna change the snowflake to white. And we'll set it right here. That's pretty cute. And then I think I wanna add little doilies on the sleeves and then add a little cufflinks that will be red as well. So let's add the little cuffs at the bottom here. And this can be tricky because you have to actually rotate your camera to fit where you want it to go. Let's try using a different shape. I think a wider shape will be more helpful. Let's see how that looks. That's not too bad. So let's select this one and we'll try duplicating it and seeing if it goes on the other side. So we'll use our mirror mode. It did. Maybe we can try a different shape, like a half circle and rotate it this way. That way the full circle won't go up and it won't distract too much from the rest of the outfit, but it'll cover up the rest of this. So then we can use our mirror mode and now we have the sleeves covered as well. It looks great. So I do want to hide the little artifacting on the shoulders. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to pick, I think this one's really nice. It's not typically used for Christmas, I don't think. If we rotate it to go from the shoulders down to the arm, we can almost set it to look, cover up some of those lines, but look like little doilies on the shoulders as well. There we go. There is a little bit of a mishap on this side, so we're just going to grab this one. It is technically from the 
the other side. So let's click on the year, try to re-rotate that. Check each side, still there. So let's shrink it a smidge, push it down the arm a bit more and rotate a little bit. We'll remove this one and let's mirror this one again. What happens if we remove this one and then try to mirror the opposite side? Same problem, shrink it down, gooch it over, shrink it up. There we go, after a little finagling. And I think that is an incredibly cute Christmas sweater. It did sw swoop down on the back, but I think what we can do is use that to our advantage. One of our new snowflakes to set on the back as well and have it be a little bit smaller, just to fill in that space. So what do you think of our sweater? I think it came out pretty cute. I like the green and red. I like the variety in the split top and bottom. Depending on your character's hairstyle, it may cover up parts of it, but overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. If you wanna see other tutorials on how to make outfits, I do have one right here that you're welcome to find and look forward to more in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have have a wonderful and happy holiday season. Bye!